Hello everyone, here I am again, getting on a bike, <gasps> it's a bus. Because <laughs> we are going to a bike store somewhere near. Now this is going to be a video of two things. One, it's going to be a part vlog. Everyone loves a vlog. Two. It's going to be a ride with a friend. So, who knows which bit you're going to stay and enjoy first. Well, you're going to get a vlog first, I can tell you that much. The thing is, that's what I'm going to do while I'm on my way to meet my friend. In fact, let's just go now. And uh, this vlog is in response to one of the people that likes me on Facebook called Paddy Brady. He knows stuff and he wants to know what I think about stuff. And that bus is going around again. Silly bus. And that's what I think about what I think the meaning of life is and what I think about wrens on a submarine. Now we'll start with the easy one. The meaning of life. 42. Done. <laughs> now, wrens. For those of you that do not know what a wren is, a wren is a female person, a female type person, in Her Majesty's Royal Navy. There you go. Used to stand for Women's Royal, Na Royal Navy Res Service. Back in the day. And they never used to go to sea. Going into the matter of what do I think about women in her, on, on submarines? Why not? I mean, I get why back in the day they didn't do it. Because uh, women, A, didn't go to sea. And uh, the submarines were quite literally just about big enough for the male submariners that were on there. But now, with the new class of submarine that they got coming through, um, there's more than enough room for women, as long as they understand, and uh, I've got to say this through um, not being sexist or anything, but a submarine needs to be underwater to create water and such, and as of so, there is an obvious restriction as to how much water there is. And the Navy have to do these things called quick showers, which is water on, get yourself wet, uh, water off, lava up, water on, rinse off, wa water off again, done. You're not allowed, you're not allowed things called Hollywood showers, which is uh, where you just leave the water on for fucking ever, which is what most people do at home. And I must admit, it's what I do at home. Um, but yeah. So yeah, no, I, I don't think it's a bad idea, as long as... I'm a, I'm a man of equal opportunities. If a woman can work in that environment as effectively as a bloke, and vice versa, then sure, let them, let them go on that. Um... But of course, you do open yourself up slightly to the uh, gate of uh, women have different anatomy and uh, like they have, they need specialist facilities and stuff. No, fuck off, they don't. Yeah, I get that. Men and women are different. Thanks for that. Um, but like I say, if if they both can handle it and work work together, then fine. I mean, on new subs, they're not hot bunking like they did on old subs. Uh, hot bunking, for those of you that don't know, is basically you share a rack with someone else, and uh, when they're on watch, you're in the rack, and when you're on watch, they're in the rack. And uh, yeah, that's that's all what hot bunking is. 
Uh, obviously, very rare that you're in the rack at the same time, although it's not illegal. But yeah, there you go. And now you know. It would appear I need some petrol. Let's go buy some, shall we? What a person was going to put out in front of me then. Oh, back eating. So yeah, that's what I think. Got nothing against it. If they can do the job, operate. I mean, don't get me wrong. At first, I, I expect there to be a, a little bit of contention and a bit where they don't operate as well together. But yeah. Once the fucking retards get past that, it'll be fine. So I'm using it. Ah, oh, there you go. Three better. I want to check how much I'm fucking putting in this damn thing. Seeing as she's going off the road at soon, I never, I don't ever really want to put too much money, too much petrol in there. And it looks like ten pounds and four p is the uh, special number. A uh, little update on that: my springs and shock from the states. Although not arrived, I have uh, number three. Had an email saying that my order is being confirmed and my stuff is being put aside. Yeah, other way. Hello, number three, please. Yeah, hang on. I don't, I'm afraid. No, thank you. Thanks. So yeah, um, springs are set aside and ugh, my kit is being made for me to my wage because I am not fat, just slightly heavier than your average person. Um, The dudes who's making my tank and fairing have, uh, oh, I haven't had any, oh shit, emails or confirmations from him, but as far as I'm concerned, uh, I've paid him the deposit so they're getting made. I told him that I'd ring him at the end of the week, end of the month, sorry. Urgh. I've looked into getting a new damned ignition barrel. This one is starting to annoy me slightly. In fact, I don't get why it's not going in. Why will you not turn? Ah, oh, there you go. Stupid thing. Um, yeah. So, Everything 
is going in the right direction. Um, I was looking at my uh, manual for my bike the other night and something that's kind of pissed me off, well not pissed me off, annoyed me is uh, I was planning on doing all of the work myself and um, I was like yeah that's cool, I mean, the only bit I wouldn't be able to do is change the fork inners because uh, I don't have the right tools for that which uh, I was quite happy about I knew I didn't have the tools um, but it would now appear and not in a good way that I uh, I can't change the rear shock neither because I need to sling the bike from an auxiliary stand Ah, she's over there. Because, uh, I, uh, they can't be, because when you take it off, it's, all the way it goes on the shock, and I can't do that. And I've only got paddock stands. According to the boot, anyway. So, yeah. 